Hi Leo, this is going to be your reading. This is for Leo placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip the switch and pick which side of the store you're on, okay? All right. Leos, what do you guys need to know right now? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know? So we got community. Aries had this. Number 39. So this could be about family, friends, uh, colleagues, co-workers, people in your neighborhood. Uh, what else? Yeah, oh, something about a home. We got lovers here, number 15. Somebody could be um, born on the 12th of the month or the 3rd, the 15th or 6th. Somebody can also be a life path three or a life path six. What else? And we have sudden wealth. Master number 11 or a life path two. Somebody could be born on the 11th or the 26th. We got great fortune here too. Somebody could be a life path eight, yeah, or five. But um, let's see here, Leo. We got sudden wealth. So some of you guys could be coming into some type of finances. Some of you guys are getting lucky. We got triple sevens here. The 777. Seven. Let's see. What's community for Leo placements? Yeah, three of swords is here. Yeah, okay, it's kind of something to do with what you do for work or people you work with. Three of Pentacles, Mars, and Capricorn. Three of swords here. Saturn and Libra. So there could be a truth about, there could be a truth that's coming out about a community of people or, or a community of people could be exposing on some type of truth. Again, this could be coworkers, family, friends, What's this community? Somebody here could be, yeah, Eight of Swords here. Jupiter and Gemini. So somebody here could feel stuck. I feel like somebody's overthinking something. This could be, again, regards to work. Or what somebody does for work here. Maybe people don't, I don't, yeah, Queen of Wands in her, oh, child. Hmm. There could be a group effort of people that are trying to make somebody feel insecure or play on somebody's insecurities. Or somebody's getting help from people around them to do this. Or you're, I don't know. What's this Three of Swords here? The hangman, Pisces energy. The hermit, Virgo. Heavy of the magician. Okay, so it's a lot of manipulation going on here. I feel like somebody can't see something about the people around them. Or they're refusing to. The hermit in reverse. Somebody doesn't, somebody is, is looking out. Somebody here could be looking outside of themselves for answers maybe resources some type of help virgo gemini energy here i feel like somebody's not utilizing all their resources somebody has more than what they need to succeed in something or just to succeed in life and they're kind of looking outside of themselves for it somebody's not really doing the inner work somebody's always playing victim somebody here could have got caught in something or caught in some type of trap listening to other people what's the hangman Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Oh, now I'm getting like... Was somebody trying to sacrifice? Somebody could be trying to sacrifice a child or some or some type of somebody's energy for, for some type of opportunity or sacrifice somebody. What's the Ace of Pentacles? 
Yeah, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Jupiter energy, Pisces, Sag. Somebody's there's negative. There's a negative pattern on repeat here. Somebody's really caught up in their head. Somebody here could feel stuck. Somebody's hung up on the potential of something. Or what's I, I, feel like, I feel like somebody's caught up on what they think they can get, not which act, not what's actually happening. Because the ace is a cool, but it's potential. You have to actually do something with it. That's with any ace. The aces are potential. They're not nothing. It's not guaranteed. It's an idea. It's a, you know what I'm saying? It's the universe trying to give you something, but they're trying to like. It's like something could be trying to. Put, be put in somebody's head, but I feel like somebody, what's this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? This could be also bad karma. Somebody's afraid, somebody's not, oh, the death in reverse, oh, the judgment and the death in reverse. Oh, somebody's unwilling to change. Somebody needs to change the type of people that they surround themselves with. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Something is keeping somebody stuck and stagnant. Yeah, and slowing somebody down. Nine of Pentacles. There could be an offer that's coming in slow. Maybe it wasn't the right timing. Uh, August Virgo, August Leo energy. Something could have been... Somebody... Stop. Shh, please. Somebody could have been dragging their feet with something. Or something could have just been taking a long time to come in. I swear she don't do none of this until I get on my readings. I swear. That girl was complete silent. Child, silent. Sometimes it'd be your kid. If, man, if you listen. Yeah, it, something could have. Oh, for, okay. So for some of you guys, you may need to surrender how something is going to come in or when it's going to come in or when it's going to happen. Some, there's a timing factor with a situation with something. Or this is somebody around you that needs to kind of surrender. I, I feel like somebody's trying to slow something down. For somebody could be trying to slow down an offer, an opportunity possibly, but that's not, that's not really going to happen. Something could be moving slow. What's, who's this Knight of Pentacles? The Knights are messengers. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Mercury. Mercury in reverse. I mean, Mercury in Taurus. There could be an opportunity that you guys an idea that you guys possibly had that three of swords is though some of you guys you're transmuting some type of pain and you could be turning it into like some type of purpose you you could you guys could have somebody here could have gone through something with that three of swords some type of grief heartache a separation a breakup a loss whether it's of a family member a friend a co-worker something a part of yourself maybe but I feel like some of y'all could be going through some type of metamorphosis that I don't know if you're resisting this change or this is somebody around you somebody needs to get out of us somebody also may need to change their mindset somebody can have a really uh something could be really coming in slow or moving slow or happening slow for somebody because of their this, the scarcity mindset that they're in Somebody's not really working on themselves. Yeah. Something is delayed because somebody's not really doing the inner work. What's the eight of swords here? Yeah, somebody's overthinking something. What's the eight of swords? Somebody could be listening to other people's opinions. And with this community, somebody here could be around people that are that have a very uh, poverty mindset. Hold on. All right, Leo's Eight of Swords here. I don't know. If, okay, yeah, with the community, yeah, like I said, somebody here could be getting like negative advice or input from people around them. 
This could be parents, family, friends, whoever. Or somebody here could be around people that have this victim mindset. What was me? They scare everything out of fear. What's this Eight of Swords? Or this could be something that you picked up from as a child. Eight of Swords here. Or from somebody that you've been around. We have the strength here. Somebody's holding on to something for like their life. Leo energy, this is you. You could be a different sign watching for your Leo placement for some of you. I, it's, I feel like somebody's trying to have control over somebody's mind or thoughts. It's like somebody wants to keep somebody thinking. I don't like this. Somebody wants to keep someone thinking negative about something or someone to like slow them down. Or just keep somebody in fear or something. What's the strength here? Yeah, the moon, Cancer, uh, Pisces. Somebody, somebody here could be a Leo moon, a Cancer, or a Pisces moon. Maybe Virgo, Sag, Gemini, Scorpio. Somebody here. I'm t somebody trying to play on somebody's weaknesses, their fears, their insecurities. Somebody's doing something on purpose. The moon is about like fears, insecurities, the subconscious, it's, it's the subconscious. There's some type of subconscious, somebody's trying to like mind control or, or fuck with somebody's subconscious mind here. It's really weird. What's the moon? What, is this the nine of, uh, five of cups in reverse? Mars and Scorpio. Somebody needs to face some type of fear that they have. I don't know. Somebody needs to face a community of people, uh, uh, or a person, or what, the, or face something within themselves. Somebody's ego could be getting in the way. They, the the moon could be about confusion, things that are hidden. Something is holding somebody back. What's this Five of Cups in reverse? Yeah, and it's keeping somebody from moving forward mentally, emotionally, spiritually, possibly financially. Six of Swords here, uh, Mercury and Aquarius. I heard Mercury and Gemini too, but Mercury and Aquarius with the Six of Swords here. Somebody's unable to move forward. Somebody's unable to progress. Something could be progressing really slow, moving really slow, or not moving at all. Somebody is stuck on, somebody's carrying around a lot of baggage mentally. Somebody's trying to, uh, somebody here could be being very passive aggressive or uh, trying to mentally overwhelm somebody on purpose. Somebody's trying to keep somebody in their head. And this could be a group of people or somebody's getting help from people. I don't know what this is. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, the devil. What the fuck? Capricorn energy. This could be somebody that has really severe codependency issues. So this is their. This is how like, this is just what somebody does. This could be somebody, a parent that does this to their child or kids, a friend that does this to their friends, um, a spouse, a partner. I don't know. Somebody likes. To, somebody doesn't want to see somebody progress or move forward, or move on. Somebody wants complete domination or control. It's very weird. If this is like a parent and child dynamic, it's that's very that's like like in, like emotional incest. Or this is like a, a ex or, or a partner or a friend. It's still weird. It's still all of it. A coworker, whoever. It's still weird. Somebody that you have kids with, whoever it is, it's weird. It's just weird. Somebody's very obsessive and very controlling. Yeah, the King of Swords is here. I'm Yeah, somebody's like always watching somebody's every move. Yeah, the Eight of Cups in reverse, trying to keep somebody stuck, trying to keep somebody in the past, keep somebody unhealed, anxious, restless, always asking somebody questions, always like saying slick things. Somebody here could be really sarcastic, very aloof, cold. They come off like they're really aloof, but they watch everything you do. They, you know, the sun in reverse, trying to keep somebody pessimistic. They could be working with a group of people to keep somebody stuck. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. This is like pessimism. Uh, something being left in the, with that moon upright. Somebody feels left. Somebody trying to keep somebody left in the dark about something. Or I don't. This is weird. Somebody can have addictions. This could be overthinking. 
a need to control others. Something is keeping somebody or, or people stuck. What's the lovers here? Somebody's like obsessed with doing something. Four of Cups in reverse, Moon and Cancer. Somebody could be feeling apathetic, withdrawn. What's the lovers here? Eight of Wands in reverse, Mercury and uh, Sag. Somebody could be trying to send negative energy to all areas of somebody's life. New opportunities and money, business, love, friends, uh, all types of things here. Eight of Wands in reverse could be like something backfiring. Somebody could have been raised by their grandparents, okay, or not their actual, what's the four of cups in reverse? Yeah, two of cups, Venus and uh, Cancer. I don't know, somebody's trying to do like break, if you guys are in a connection with somebody, somebody here could be trying to do breakup spells. For some of you guys, you could be in separation with this person. They could be trying to send negative energy to you to get you to come back. That could be it, too. Yeah, this person, I, I feel like somebody, the four pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Somebody, This is about somebody opening up, uh, releasing control, sharing. Some, I, I don't know, somebody trying to, also the four pentacles could be somebody trying to take something from someone. So I, I feel like you guys know, y'all know who this is. You know this person watches you. You may see this person in your dreams. This person is emotionally manipulative. They're always playing victim. They could Somebody here could drink a lot. Somebody holds grudges. They don't know how to... They don't. They, somebody here is just very emotionally cold, spiteful, immature. What's this Two of Cups? This could be like a friend or a lover. What's this Two of Cups? Yeah, Nine of Swords is here. I feel like somebody wants to seize an opportunity with you. Or somebody could be upset that you seize an opportunity with somebody else. Nine of Swords here. May Taurus, May Gemini. So the Knights are messengers. You got the Knight of Pentacles here and the Five of Swords. Somebody could want to come out the cold with you. but I, Or you want to come out the cold with somebody. But I feel like the way somebody's doing something is not... Somebody's trying to... It, I don't like the way that this person is trying to do it. I feel like the way somebody's trying to keep somebody to them is by putting negativity in their ear. Making them... Trying to put fear in them about doing things in life and anything in life. That's not... You don't do that to people that you claim to love. Regardless of who they are. If a person wants to go about their business, if they want to do something outside of you, you let people do that. Well, you, well, ain't no you let. It's going to happen regardless. But it's like you don't try to get in the way of that for someone. There could be a lot of argument, arguments with this eight of wands in reverse. Things backfiring. Um, I feel like whatever somebody tried to do, it could have strengthened the bond between you and this person that you're connecting to. Some of you guys have made a new friend. I feel like you and somebody are both on the same page, whether it's a friend, a lover, whoever, whoever it is, you and this person are on the same page. Somebody could be, some of you guys, if you've been going no contact, or if you, some of you guys could be, uh, if this is somebody that you're already dealing with, I see you guys possibly communicating or somebody wanting to reach out and say something. Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody, the Moon in Aquarius, the Justice here in reverse, Libra energy. Somebody's, somebody here could have got caught. Do, somebody didn't obey spiritual law. So I don't know. Somebody here could be, whatever trap they were trying to set for you or these people, they, it, it, they set it for themselves. Nine of Swords here. Somebody is seizing opportunities, taking action. This could be quick and fast changes. What's the Nine of Swords here? 
the hermit in reverse virgo energy somebody here wants to come out of hermit so if you've if you've been going if you haven't spoken to this person they want to come if this person's been really silent leaving you on red or giving you the silent treatment i feel like somebody wants to break the ice they want to say something yeah ace of cups this could be this could be new love for some of y'all For some of you guys, if this is like a work thing, you could there could be somebody that has a crush on you that likes you and, and these other co-workers could know. So I don't know if they're trying to like they're trying to do something to make they're trying to do something to make you uncomfortable so that maybe you act out in certain ways so that this person could see you differently. I'm getting for some of y'all. Or this could be like somebody's family and friends trying to like project something to make a person's lover or a love interest look at them a certain way for others of you you got somebody here an ex possibly that is trying to like somebody here is trying to manipulate to um, manipulatively rail somebody back in virgo here with the hermit in reverse what's the hermit in reverse yeah the tower child airy scorpio energy yeah, the world in reverse. Something is, a cycle hasn't closed. Something is not completely over between you and somebody or between you and something. For some of you guys, this could be like an entity that's been following y'all from lifetimes to lifetimes. For some of you guys, if you've been struggling with love, if you've been single for a while, if money, if you've been struggling with money, it's, it could have been some type of entity too for some of y'all. Somebody has some type of codependent addiction or codependency. Somebody needs to be in control at all times. There can also be some y'all are dealing with a karmic soulmate too. There's delays, delays. Somebody's trying to delay somebody's growth, their their expansion, travels, their, their plans, their, everything. Yeah, somebody's trying to block something for somebody. It could be their finances or their love life with the lovers in reverse. Somebody's trying to block something. What's this tower? Yeah, Nine of Cups. It's for their own selfish gain. Jupiter and Pisces. Some of you guys shockingly have a new love coming in. Or somebody could be wanting to return. Yeah, some of y'all could be in same sex. For some of you guys, not all of you. And if it's not about love, you could be making a new friend. But this is a wish that's being granted. Something is happening for you guys unexpected. Something is going to be shocking. Again, you could be finding something out about this friend, these community of people, or people, a community of people or a group of people are finding something out about a person. I don't know. But the nine of cups is like you're getting your, you're getting your needs met. Somebody could be going through some type of upheaval, some type of change. Something could be changing to somebody's status. A lot of you guys are coming into union with yourself. Some of y'all could have been in really abusive or toxic relationship dynamics, work environments. That could have thrown you off balance. What's this Eight of Wands in reverse? Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. A lack of clarity. A lack of... This could be tension, arguments, fighting via text. I feel like somebody's trying to bring you back down to a place that you're trying to get out of. Somebody here can always be getting into fights with people. There's always gossip. You you know, if you if you already if you say you had a his say you came from a very toxic work environment and you have a coworker who you you know you like talking to them, you like them, they're cool, but they're always in some drama. It's like you are like, you know, I've been here, done that already. You know, or you say you're dating somebody and they're always get they're always fighting with people, always arguing with people. It's like I don't know. I the ace of swords is a lack of truth, a lack of clarity, tension. What's this ace of swords here in reverse? Yeah, the hero font. Taurus energy. Somebody could allow, oh, so. Some of you guys could be married to this person. King of Cups in reverse. Somebody lied about being married or committed. 
somebody could be finding out that they were just being used for like maybe sex or money or something like that. Somebody can have some type of status with this nine of cups. Somebody, Hierophant is like tradition values. You, because somebody's unavailable. There, somebody's definitely emotionally unavailable here for sure. What's this Hierophant? Yeah, three of cups. A community of people, friends. Mar uh, Mercury and Cancer. Magician, manip. Yes, the five. Of, yeah, look at this. Something is blocked. Five is four. Somebody's up to no good. Somebody's very conniving. Somebody's a trickster. Somebody could be like a con artist or something. Some of y'all could be engaged. I don't know. Some I don't know people. Hold on. There's a, this could be like a coven or something. Uh, it's, it's something really weird. These could be three of swords, three of, three of cups. This is like a people that you may go to school with, work with, party with. I don't know. Somebody here, oh. Somebody here could, this, could, this is giving me sister wives energy. I'm not going to lie. This is giving me sister wise with this with this hero font and I saw this in Capricorn's old reading Oh that I did sometime in like December. I think There could also be somebody that doesn't want you to say yes to reconciling with somebody or Getting with this person that could like you or something or whether it's a friend lover crush, whatever Somebody doesn't somebody wants to delay something Somebody's trying to delay something. This could be somebody's mother, somebody's bitter, just like an old lady, somebody's a grandmother or something, grandfather, whoever. Yeah. I'm also getting, yeah, this is like, this is crazy. What's, what's this nine of cups? What is this? Yeah, king of swords. Somebody knows what they're doing or what they're saying. Somebody's very confident about something. They know what somebody's confident about what they like, what feels good. King of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn energy, January Capricorn, January Aquarius. There could be delays in travel. I'm also seeing somebody rushing to like city hall to get married possibly i, I don't know i'm getting a lot of things for you it's a lot of a lot of uh, it's a lot of things here i'm getting for your reading leo a lot i just like there's somebody in your energy your person's energy that's trying to cause confusion it could be to a connection what's this three of cups i wish y'all can see how Damn, I wish y'all can see how the card, look at how the card landed on the cup. Four pentacles, Capricorn energy. I'm telling you, somebody is trying to keep, somebody wants to control something. Cap, heavy Capricorn in this reading. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody is not single. Somebody's not single. This person could be married and maybe they're looking for a good time. This person could like you, but maybe they're just looking for a good time. They can't commit to you because they're committed to somebody else. For those of you who are single and you're casually dating. Yeah, this person only look this person and I think somebody's honest about was somebody's being honest too. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's very very yeah look at the, what the fuck this is somebody's like spouse or like a mother or a mother figure i feel like somebody doesn't want somebody to be in the somebody doesn't want someone to be independent somebody wants somebody to constantly have to ask them for stuff man or woman somebody could be having fertility issues as well yeah somebody wants someone to be stuck Ugh. 
Four of Pentacles is like somebody holding tightly on to something or someone. Somebody could be holding on to a third party too. Or this third party could be trying to hold on to your person or their friends could be trying, something could be, it could be about, again, with this community there, right? In the hero font, it, it could be like everybody, there's like a pack mentality. This could be amongst friends. It, it could be amongst family. It's like some type of pack mentality. What's the sudden wealth? <laughs> Nine of Wands here, a lot of Knights here. November Sag, November Scorpio energy. Southern Wells. Yeah, Emperor, this could be about Aries energy. This could be about a father figure. Some of you guys could be bosses or you can have a high position. You could be mentors, coaches. Somebody wants control over multiple people in their, in, in their energy. Somebody could be part of some type of church or something weird. This reading is weird. Knight of Wands. It's like this emperor is sending somebody to relay a message or to do something to maybe a community or to a person. Somebody's taking, somebody's getting orders from another person. Somebody here could be like Jehovah Witness or really religious, possibly. So this could be some type of organization. What's the Knight of Wands? This could be like an arranged marriage, too, for somebody. What's the Knight of Wands? Because it, yeah, Two of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse, Venus and Aries. So maybe, again, Four of Wands is about community. There's a group, there's a community or a family that does, that's not really supportive or somebody doesn't feel welcome in somebody's family or community. It could be because... Maybe there's difference in religion, difference in age, ethnicities, cultures. Somebody is trying to preserve and hold on to like some type of tradition and maybe getting with somebody that's outside the box or unorthodox or somebody that's more of a free spirit can kind of destruct, make somebody feels like it'll be destructive to the family, to the community. Like somebody thinks they're a head honcho of something. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? Somebody is biting off more than they can chew. I also feel like somebody's not really open to being flexible or uh, adaptable either. Two of pentacles in reverse. Somebody could be losing a lot of money. Yeah, page of pentacles, the king of pentacles. A lot of pentacles here. Some of y'all dealing with an earth sign and you got earth in your chart. Or, well, it, it could be, yeah, great fortune, sudden wealth. Somebody here may have to support a lot of people. Or these people always got their hand out. This could be like a man who's dating a woman and he's taking care of the woman, but also the the maybe this woman's mother sends her to ask him for money too. Or it's something weird. It's somebody here is, is lacking some type of stability. Some type of there's a foundation that's not really solid. It's about tradition, but that doesn't mean it's solid, if that makes sense. Somebody doesn't want things to change. Somebody wants things to be how they've always been, but how they've always been may not be working. Nine of Wands is like a free spirit. It's also a risk taker. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This could be... Um, too many, somebody has too many things up in the air. Somebody's gonna, the lovers also talks about making a choice. Somebody's gonna have to make a choice. Some of y'all going from the page of pentacles to the king. I don't know who this is. We got two kings here. I don't really, I don't see no queen. So either I'm reading for a Leo man or a woman that's dealing with I don't even want to say multiple options. Somebody here could be juggling, but I'm not really getting that. I feel like somebody here could be dropping their options. They could be wanting to take a risk with you. What's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, Ten of Wands. Saturn and Sagittarius. 
the death in reverse, the judgment in reverse, eight of pentacles in reverse. Somebody here could be in debt really bad. Somebody could be having to file for bankruptcy. It could be these addictions or somebody just overspends. Somebody could be really superficial, really money hungry, greedy, codependent, controlling, mean spirited. It's a lot of shape shifting going on too. Ten of Wands. Six of Pentacles, somebody needs or wants someone's help. Moon and Taurus, somebody may know that somebody's coming into some type of sudden wealth and so they don't want them to go nowhere. They want them to celebrate with them. They don't want them to really progress, really do you know nothing outside of them. Somebody knows that somebody's coming into something and they want a piece of it. So yeah, somebody's planning something. They're taking their time too. But I feel like somebody knows this. What's the emperor? Yeah, Seven of Wands, Mars and Leo. Somebody's trying to block something. Somebody's trying to block you from receiving some type of gift or money or an offer, a bonus, a raise, whatever. Love, whatever. Somebody could be trying to block something. Seven of Wands, could, some of y'all need to stand on business with something. Some of you guys are coming into some type of sudden wealth. And you need to stand on business about who and what you're giving to and how much. Well, this is somebody in your energy. Seven of Wands. People are going to start to have their hand out. Seven of Wands. Yeah, the death in reverse. Somebody is set in their ways. Scorpio energy. Somebody's very set in their way. Somebody doesn't want to change. Somebody's very codependent and it, it's... Yeah. Somebody here could be um, really moody, temperamental, unstable. Some of you guys could also be studying something that's going to bring you a lot of money. Or you could be learning something that's going to bring you a lot of money. You could have worked really hard for something. Some of y'all may have a gift to help people. It could be something spiritual or something where you help people. You do something. It's going to bring you a lot of wealth. What's this? But somebody doesn't want, it's like somebody doesn't want somebody to change. That's in reverse. They don't want something to, they don't want something to change. Page of Wands. Yeah. The Queen of Wands in reverse. I'm getting a lot of Queen of Cups upright, the King of Cups in reverse, the Magician in reverse, Seven of Swords. Something was this. Yeah, this is like the Empress in reverse, Taurus, Libra energy, Justice here, heavy Libra energy, the world, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Somebody knows what they're doing. That's the best thing. I, that's the best way I can put it. I don't know if somebody's trying to end a destiny swap or trade places with somebody via some type of spell work or manipulation. Somebody here could be getting really fatigued, tired. What's this page of wands about? Yeah, page of swords. This could be a man that has kids with like other people so somebody here could have like somebody here yeah somebody here could have like different mouths to feed right like they may have somebody here can have multiple this could be a man that has children with like more than one person because the page of swords belongs to the king of swords the page of pentacles belongs to the king of pentacles that page of wands belongs to the king and queen of wands so you got three pages here so somebody can have up to three kids this could be like taxes, like somebody here is trying to like withhold some type of information. This could also, with the Ace of Swords, that could be something legal. That could be fraud, okay, with the Justice in Reverse and the Ace of Swords in Reverse. Somebody could be uh, elite, like somebody here could be filing for without the other parent's permission or that could be, you know, people do stuff like that too. Somebody's really focused on money. Somebody's very selfish, though. 
And this person is not going to give you what they said they're going to give you. So I would be very careful with giving your information over to this person, uh, especially like your socials or your children's socials if you have them with, with them. They're not going to give you what, because they may have somebody else that they have to give to or other people. So they're not going to give you what they say they are. <laughs> Page of Swords. Something could be going on with somebody's home. Pages. Yeah, nine of wands, moon and sag. Yeah, um, it, it, this could be a mother figure that could have multiple kids with multiple men, possibly. That could be how that could be with this. Somebody here is a deadbeat mother for some of y'all. I could be talking to a single father. Or you could be dealing with somebody here that, that, or I don't know, or a single mother, single father. Queen of Pentacles, December Capricorn, December Sag. You know, bro, she's so silly. Maybe I don't put the laptop in the room for you. Um, this girl, this little girl's like a tornado child. Okay, put the baby needs her thumb in her mouth so she don't cry. Take your baby. The baby wants to go watch Minnie. Um, Y'all need to side eye and double check something about your finances. All these pentacles here. I don't know if somebody's trying to use. Somebody here could be a gold digger, man or a woman. Somebody has a plan. With that page of pentacles, somebody has a plan to get something from somebody. Now, oh, okay, okay, now it's coming to me because I'm like the Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Somebody has like some type of plan to either take something from you to give to somebody else or vice versa or to just take something for themselves from you. Somebody here, and, and this could be a couple that's doing this together. They could be scammers. They may use kids. They, you know, Queen of Pentacles is money hungry, superficial, materialistic. Whoa. Somebody here could drive a car that they can't afford or they can have a home they can't afford. Somebody here is very charming. Yeah, somebody knows how to love bomb people and to like mess with their... This person will lay it on thick to get what they want. That's the best way I can put it. This person could be like hypersexual. They, they, somebody knows what they need to do, say, whatever to get what they want. Some of you guys already have. You, you kind of already spotted something. Something don't seem right. Nine of Wands is like, yes, somebody's, yeah, y'all need to ask questions. That Page of Wands, it could be good news. They could be saying, oh, somebody could be trying to come in with some type of business proposal or financial proposal or scheme or plan. You need to look it over. Somebody could be robbing Peter to pay Paul. What's this? What's, what's, let's get some oracles for Leo. Yeah, vow. Number 54, wish, hope, and worship. Somebody can worship. Yeah, look at this. Luck. Jackpot, fortune, and reward. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I don't know if somebody sent in a lover to, like, betray you or do something to you. Somebody's doing something for money. Somebody worships some type of deity or entity. Yeah, triumph, success, victory, achievement. Some of y'all may need to stay to yourselves, man. Be careful because not stay to yourself forever. We got to stop. Break, pause, stagnation. I'm, yeah, I'm telling you, some of y'all with that hangman, there could be something being delayed because there's some type of pattern where maybe you're always attracting certain people or you're always in these weird environments. We also have the death here, Scorpio energy number 79, endless harm and, and, and um, inevitable. Somebody's trying to avoid the inevitable here. They, somebody could be trying to avoid, somebody doesn't want to, somebody doesn't want to come up, somebody doesn't want to come up off some money. That's what it could be. This could be child support, alimony. Shh, shh, baby, shh, whisper, whisper. Somebody doesn't want to come up with some type of alimony or child support or payment that they owe you. 
somebody trying to stop something from some from from going through to you information processing something they may have a friend that work in higher places like hr or management or something like that the legal system whatever they're trying to stop you from receiving something and it could be yeah stubbornness somebody somebody here doesn't want to somebody doesn't want to see or hear something somebody's in denial number 77 selfness Malicious attitude, arrogance, yeah. Somebody is very stubborn. It's just their way or the highway. Friendship. This could be somebody's friends that are that are egging this on or something like that. Friendship, team, connection, and network. This could be, yeah. I was just somebody could know people in certain places. Fright number sixty-two. Depression, phobia, and paranoid. Depression. Yeah, somebody, I'm, somebody's trying to install fear in someone. I'm telling you. And they're working with the community of people. They could be working with certain family members, friends, co-workers. They're trying to do something. Accident. Number, somebody here could have got ran off the road or could have gotten into a car accident or some type of accident. Nothing, something was, or something was planned. Accident. Number 16, danger. Caution and injury. Yeah. Somebody could be trying to harm somebody for money. Perseverance, number seven. Challenge, endorment, and resolution. Somebody, need to, somebody here may need to get a restraining order. Or get something financially put in place. So, I, it's something going on here. This reading is... Yeah. Leos, let me know because I don't... I feel like this is a very specific reading for someone. This may not resonate with a lot of you guys. The judgment in reverse is like a lack of awareness, self-doubt. Somebody could be trying to get somebody to doubt their judgment, cloud their judgment. Somebody is is something somebody's not getting a karmic lesson. Somebody's very paranoid. Somebody could be trying to play on somebody's paranoia or say, oh, you're just paranoid. You're paranoid. That's not what's really going on. It's something. And somebody is, is somebody hears what they want to hear. Somebody's really trying to install uh, fear into somebody and paranoia. Somebody could be playing on somebody's phobias, too. Yeah, collaboration. It's a team effort. Backup, unity, enhancement. I'm telling you, somebody is not doing this alone. They're not, they're, somebody's getting help with whatever, whatever this is. Um, this could be help from uh, entities, deities, other people, friends, family, co-workers. Somebody's not getting, you're not bugging. You're not crazy. You're definitely not crazy. Yeah, look at this. Right. Ceremony, mystery, and magic. This could be spell work. Somebody could be trying to sacrifice you. The devil, the devil's like, uh-uh-uh. The devil told this community of people... Or this person, you can't go nowhere until you pay me, you, you promise me a soul. So where is it? And of course, they don't want to give up themselves. They don't want to sacrifice themselves. So it's like somebody got to be the sacrifice. Third wheel, number 37, enemy distrust flirtationist. I can't make it up. Somebody is, I, I, somebody could be keeping something to themselves. Somebody knows something, but they're keeping it to themselves because they want some type of leverage. Yeah, merit making, goodness, humanness, and morality. I don't. Mm -mm. I, uh uh. Yeah, gift, souvenir, promotion, delight. Yeah, this six of pentacles is like a gift. Somebody wants somebody to. Somebody could be trying to exploit somebody, even maybe exploit kids. See how this kid is standing between these two people? They look a little weird. Bully. Embarrassment, gossip, unwillingness. Yeah, I'm telling you, this you know, somebody here could be getting bullied. Somebody here could be getting bullied spiritually or at work, at school. Sweetheart. Pure, unconditional love, beloved. I don't know. I'm not I don't see no love out here. That two of cups, I feel like somebody's in a connection for their for their own for their own selfish gain. Really. You and Gemini's reading didn't have any number synchronicities. You know how there's usually like multiple numbers like 555 or 666? I didn't get that for y'all.
this is your, you could be seeing, well, y'all could be seeing number synchronicities, but, you know. Yeah, reservation, desire, worth, extravagance, origin, imitation, creativity, and vitality. There's a head honcho that's behind something. Stress, headache, pressure, lack of sleep. Yeah. It could be a boss or a manager, too, that could be exploiting their, their workers. Somebody with that queen of pentacles, that's a very disloyal. You look at this conflict, difference, disputation, quarrel. You and somebody don't share the same moral compass. Somebody's disloyal. I, could, I think I'm talking to a, a Leo man or a man that has Leo in their chart. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. There's somebody that's trying to uh, hide out in the scenes. I don't see no. I didn't see no queens out here. This could be a woman in masculine, and you could be a Aaliyah woman in masculine energy. But that emperor upright, that empress in reverse, somebody's with a false counterpart. Somebody's with a somebody's with a karmic. Somebody's dealing with a karmic, and they're getting help with this this plan and strategy, whatever this is, loss. Bereavement, sorrow, and damage. Somebody could have tried to damage somebody's vehicle, their home, their career. Their, somebody could have been calling somebody's job. All because of money or all because they didn't want someone to... Somebody wanted to make something hard for somebody else to give or receive. Yeah, this could be a friend. Some y'all... Somebody could be working with a friend or somebody that was close to you or so-called friend. Team, connection, network. This is somebody close in your circle. Or in your person circle, somebody. So y'all, y'all need to evaluate some things. Or this could be somebody. I, yeah, this is gonna be a very specific reading, but um, this could be somebody's mother helping them do something. Yep, or a mother figure, a, a somebody's child's mother, or a, a sister, or something. For some of you guys, also. Your masculine and feminine energies could be out of balance, but I, I'm not really, that's not what I'm really getting, to be honest. Anyways, this is your reading, Leo. Uh, this is a bit all over the place. Let me know in the comments what's going on. Help, you know, because, but this is a very specific reading. Very specific. This is very, like, personal for, this is like, yeah, this is not going to resonate with a lot of y'all, possibly. But, uh, let me know what's going on in the comments if you feel called to, if you want to. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.